<laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Jelly Sierra, and I'm back with another video. Now, this is our second installment of Jelly Sierra After Dark. And, honey, okay, put on your seatbelt. I'm telling you, put it on. Alright? Okay, so, also, as usual, I want to go ahead and tell you this is about sex. You know, if you don't like hearing things like, you know, fuck pussy, dick. Talks about sex, you know, personal information being used. This might not be the video for you, so go ahead and click off now. Thanks for the view, by the way. <laughs> but if you want to get into it, like I know you guys want to get all up in it, stay tuned. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go ahead and read it as usual, and then I'm going to go ahead and give you my feedback. So I'm going to be looking down at, you know, you know how I go by now. You should. All right. <laughs> Girls, okay? When I say foolishness, okay, okay. <laughs> Girl, I really need your advice because I cannot discuss this with anyone else in my circle, okay? I have been married for five years. Me and my husband have known each other for 30 years, and at one time he was incarcerated for 10 years. He came home in 2005 and we were married a year later. I'm worried that he may have had sex with men while in prison, and I think it affects our sex life. <laughs> what I mean is that he always wants head and anal sex, giving and receiving with a dildo. Okay. I'm not comfortable with this, and he wants it all the time. I don't want to embarrass him by asking him did he have sex with men, but how do I reprogram him Back to the man he was before he got locked up. I do love him, and I just want him to get help. Please help. Anonymous. Alright, so... Okay, okay. Now, I know what you guys are all thinking. Uh, uh, say what? He wants to do a what? Okay, yes, yes. And... I would like to hope that this is an uncommon situation, but I don't believe it is. I, I really don't. Um, girl, let me first say this. I love you, but sometimes love isn't enough. And I'm, I'm being totally honest here. The reason I say that is because he wants something that you can never compete with. You're never going to be able to give, to give him booty action. You're never going to be able to fuck him. Let's just be honest. You're not going to be able to do that. So, you're asking me, how do you reprogram him? I feel like he's already been reprogrammed, if you get what I'm saying. Like, honestly. The fact that you're not comfortable talking to him about this is the bigger problem to me. Because if you're having sex with someone, you're married to someone, you've been with someone, you've known him 30 years, and you guys have... Even though he's been in jail 10 years, I'm sure you was holding him down... While he was in there, even though you might have been doing your own thing. I hope you were, but that's a side topic. Um, You know, you guys have known each other that long. You do love him. And, and that love has turned into, to my opinion, obligation, if you're saying this. Because that, for me, for me, anal sex is a deal breaker. And I'm not talking about for me. <laughs> I'm talking about for my man. Like, if my man wants me to fuck him, it's a deal breaker. That's the end of the relationship. I can still love you, but I can't compete with that. I'm never going to be able to to provide that for you. And what's happening is that the situation that you're in now, where now you're, you've done it so much because that's what he wants, that's the only kind of sex you guys have because that's really what he's interested in. I mean, I feel like he's gay. I'm sorry, he's gay. And I understand it's uncomfortable for you to mention it because who wants to talk to a man and say... Uh, <laughs> excuse me, uh, you want me to fuck you every night? You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to have that conversation, but you have to. The only alternative to not talking about it is just packing up your shit tonight and leaving. I mean, honestly, because you can love him, but you can love him while you're away. He's gay. And whether he wants to admit it or not, he is. Now, a lot of people think jailhouse sex doesn't make them gay, I'm not one of those people. Now, you can be bisexual, but you like men. In my opinion, I just don't see where... where you're gonna end up being 
satisfied in the end, especially if you're not speaking up about it. Just sitting there, I mean, he might think that you're into that too. And from what you're telling me, you're not interested in it at all. So you want him to be reprogrammed back into the heterosexual, you know, male-on-female sex that you guys had in the past, and that's gone never to return. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. Ten years is a long time. You know, they say 21 days starts uh, a pattern. He got a lot of 21 days, okay? So, I mean, there's really nothing I can I can tell you other than talk to him about it, explain to him you're not interested in this kind of sex, and understand that it's not your fault. There's nothing wrong with you. Don't internalize it and feel like, oh, you know, I make men gay or I wasn't satisfying him. It's not that. He just was turned on into something else. Didn't expect to like it and now it's the norm for him. The only person that's going to be able to reprogram him is him. And if he's bringing it to you, I mean, think about how, how... Nervous he was. To, I don't see a man just coming out into the bedroom one day with his girlfriend, whether he know her a day, she was a prostitute and he was paying her, or they've been together 15 years. I don't see a man being comfortable saying, hey, use this dildo on me and I'm going to give the dildo head and all, you know what I mean, or whatever the case may be. He's not going to be comfortable saying that to you as his wife and, and a female and someone that's known him for 30 years if that ain't what he want, girl. I mean, honestly. It took a lot of kumunas to say that. So if he been putting it to you and you guys have been practicing this sex, this is what he wants. You know, I, I'm giving you, I hope it's not coming out harsh because that's really not, you know, it's all love. But I'm keeping it real. At the same time, this is how I feel. Now, you guys, feel free to add your opinions below. As usual, we're going to respect, be respectful. We just ain't going to get crazy, okay? Because I know this is something that might be a little controversial, but, you know. We're going to give our opinions. We can crack a little jokes, whatever the case may be. But, you know, just don't do too much. <laughs> so, okay. Anyone have any questions, concerns, you know, you can email it to me at lovejalicia at gmail.com. Or you can go ahead and inbox me on YouTube. Or if, you wanna, if you're a, a Facebook fan and you're bold enough, you can put it on the Facebook page if you'd like. All right. So, any questions, concerns, a follow-up on this girl, please... Inbox me and let me know an update after you guys have the talk or what's going on. I really would like to hear and follow up some more on this. Alright? So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next installment, peace out! <laughs>